I saw strange things in Pakistan. A guy is sleeping on a road. He has no home, no shelter, no ghettos, nothing, no shacks, no huts. Then you go to another Porsche areas like defense or cantonment Kent under the army. People having big houses like canals and they don't have any sense of empathy towards poor people. And what's the main philosophy? Just think about yourself. Don't need to worry. Don't destroy your vacation. Just enjoy your life when you come there. Don't think about those poor people. You know, wallahi, I became sick, mentally sick in Pakistan. When I saw these people, I can't. My heart was, you know, burst into tears. Those poor people living under, under the so low conditions, less than dollars. And nobody pays attention, nobody cares. As this, these are destination, these are destined, you know, uh, these people have been destined toward these kind of poverty, poor parts, more than poor. And they're living and no hope. And every false promise by the current leader. False promise, false hopes. And they are living on what motivation, I'm asking. No motivation. They are living on happenstance. You see happenstance in political point of view or normally we say it. When some things are going by default or by you know, something else. Like for example, you're going somewhere and by happenstance looking for water, you found oil this is happenstance you were not looking for oil this is what's happening pakistan has been going on through happenstance that's all the genesis of pakistan was what why did we get separated from india if we have to follow the same culture rituals rights and their movies and their heroes our idols what is the point of being separated what was the two nation theory by ilama iqbal i'm asking what was it it was that we are a different nation. Our history, our culture, our socialism, our politics, everything is different from India, from Hindus and Christians, vice versa. But now look at us. We have broken the promise of God Almighty. That oh Allah, this country was made. You know, Pakistan was made, literally made through these proclamations or, you know, uh, signs or slogans of that La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah and we did deceived Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah has forfeit us no more job for us you go there in Pakistan people are confused don't know what to do where is the leader what is the way what is the right way every person has been flim flaming hood winking the other guy every person his the main motivation is to earn money, money, money. That's all. Mint money, stash money, hoard money, hoard things. And just go for profits after profits. Nobody cares is your money coming halal or haram. Prophet says that riba has so many branches. And the least sin of eating riba usually in trust is that somebody is committing adultery or fornication with his mother in public can you take this and nobody speaks on the real issues of interest we are eating not even ulamas with respect i do islamic work alhamdulillah and i respect ulamas but this is what reality is even ulamas there they don't care about they are not obliged anymore to talk about these issues and every interest going on this is the main thing allah says that if you do not abhor this interest then allah and his rasul will engage war against you we are under war against allah and rasul astaghfirullah what we gonna do and how we gonna come out and have it preaching and guidance we ought to do to others proselytizing our proselytizing is zero because allah says that you are already war with me and his messenger imagine that this warning and how easy for us, we don't care. We have no idea, proper understanding of monetary system. Nobody has a time. Everybody's a rat race game. And now this is what uh, we have become. Animals, social animals. Money, money, money. Everybody has the money. Get money, mint money, fool people. 
you know, try to loot them, flim flam them, hoodwink them, you know, spam, cheat, all these things going on, bullying going on, cyber bullying going on, cyber uh, cheating going on, cyber, uh, you know, thefts going on in Pakistan. This is happening. As you arrived in the airport, you see the people start taking unfair advantage of you. They see the flights. Okay, which flight is coming from where? If the flight is coming from America, okay, they will try to make and loot you as, you know, the guy looking to American person. If coming from the Middle East, they know how to loot Middle East. Every person is being looted according to his nationality.